story. America's newest political power throuple, Biden-Harris and my waterfall of drool, made their debut together inside the city that never stops sleeping, Wilmington, Delaware. I cannot wait to see Kamala serving Prosecutor Eleganza stunting down the steps of the White House with a kitschy pair of handcuff earrings. We need more women who have jailed other women in the White House. Yes, carceral queen. They really are the yin and yang of politics. Biden can't talk. Harris can talk. Biden has blood coming out of his eyes. Harris has normal eyes. Uh, yeah. Okay, Senator Coons, if Kamala were here right now, what do you think she'd say? Well, Kamala is here right now. Oh, oh, right. oh my gosh, she's, here? she's actually in Delaware. Aww. She and former Vice President Biden are over at A.I. DuPont uh, High School. And folks in Delaware are incredibly excited about it. This was a monumental day. I just hope my daughters were watching to see that it is possible to make news in Delaware. Now, I know Fox News is normally major lame vibes, but Kamala's success is literally inspiring everyone right now. I guarantee even Fox News went wicked mode and defied gravity by celebrating this historic moment. There are timeshare salesmen you would trust more than Kamala Harris. Limiting his choice on the basis of skin color. And on planet Earth, that used to be called bias or even racism. And I think in a way, as a woman, it takes away from some of the selection in some ways. She's just not that historically exciting to African Americans. Her name is pronounced comma, like the punctuation mark, la, Kamala. Okay? okay. We, uh, seriously, I've heard every sort on, of bastardization okay. so of what? that. OMFG, why is everybody being such a slur today? Senator, why is everybody being such a slur today? As someone who was on Fox earlier today, I'm frankly not that surprised that both my Republican colleagues in the Senate and the Fox News Network have found lots of grounds, most of them I think completely insubstantial, to criticize her record or to question the choice. As the average American gets to know Senator Kamala Harris, as I have in the United States Senate, They'll warm up to the combination of her great character, her intellect, her strengths, and her warmth. Kamala Harris sent my son to jail during a family vacation to Disneyland, and it was just a silly misunderstanding. He was holding some grass in his hand, and it got mistaken for weed, and he's serving 20 to life right now, but I still think Kamala absolutely slays. Uh Disneyland. Now, Senator, we checked out the Democratic National Convention schedule and you are speaking on the big fourth night. So first you took Biden's Senate seat and now you're trying to steal his spotlight on his big night. Wow, what next? Are you gonna try to steal Jill from him too? I'm a big fan of Jill and Joe Biden. Uh, and frankly, I'm excited to have a few minutes uh, on the convention floor virtually to introduce my friend Joe to the American people. Lots of Americans already know Joe. They know his character, they know his heart. But I'm going to speak about his faith and the way in which that's grounded him. Mm -hmm. Okay, Senator, I'm hearing that you need some tips. And if I've learned anything from giving maid of honor speeches at weddings, it's that you should talk about a difficult time that the bride helped you out of. So was there anything like a drug problem or sex addiction when Joe was there for you? No, actually, uh, neither of those problems. Um, but if you watch my remarks, I'll tell you uh, an actual moment in my life uh, when uh, Joe Biden gave me some comfort and some encouragement that meant the world to me. Uh, frankly, that's one of the things that Senator Harris also has in common with Joe. Um, I went through a tough time when my father passed away, uh, and both of them were warm, were personal, were engaging. Uh, in a way that I look forward to, to sharing with the American people this Thursday. That's really sweet. Just don't do what I did at my last wedding speech and scream at the groom for stealing my friend.